what happened? <laughs> so what happened? So she, we thought someone stole her sunglasses. She's walking around the beach looking for her sunglasses. And the boat captain, we thought maybe that guy took them because he was standing by her bags. Where are the sunglasses? <laughs> right there. Like. Subscribe. Click the bell, please. Thank you. Okay, so we're going out to Paradise Beach. And what's the name of the lagoon? What's the name of the lagoon? Horio. Horio. Horio Lagoon. All right, so we're going to try that. Instead of renting a... Uh, motorcycle ourselves. We're gonna take our trusty tour guide here. Well, first, we go up Paradise Beach, okay? Okay. Paradise Beach first. Supposedly the owner of the cave is the same uh, guy that owns this. It's a Chinese-Filipino uh, partnership, I guess. Uh, but they're digging, you can see they, dig the, they dug the roads coming in here. And they're probably subdivided or something eventually. But right now they're just charging a 50 peso per person entrance fee to come in down and go down to the beach. Not Paradise Beach, what's it? Welcome, Sander. Sander Beach. Yeah, so if you look on the map, this is a tiny little secluded beach. There's really not much here. Welcome to Paradise Beach. So it's basically a tiny little beach. They're, they're going to develop this into a resort. You can see it already. Five years, ten years, this will be a huge resort. And this will be the beach. We open it in five months. Five months? Yeah. Five months what? Uh... Yeah, the beach is pretty small. It's probably only, I don't know, 200 meters ish. It's nice, but I don't know that it's worth the, uh, an entrance fee. You could swim and have just as much down by Kota Beach. So yeah, I'm glad we came, but I probably would not come back here. And our tour guide recommended it too. He said, yeah, there's not much there. He said, the lagoon is the best place to swim. He said, this place is just kind of, it's rough to swim because of the waves. I mean, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Hmm? Little steps going up over there. It says there's no lifeguard, 5 p.m. to 8 a.m. But I really don't even see a lifeguard. I could, I could go swimming and I think I would pretty much be on my own. Hey. Yeah, we'll go sit up there after we walk to the end. I just want to see, unless you want to go sit up there now. Yeah, we're just walking this whole thing. We'll probably head out to the other place in a little bit. I just. I've heard a couple people recommended it, so I wanted to take a look at it, but it's really, it's beautiful, but yeah, that's glass too. You don't want to step on that. 
so there's definitely some trash out here too. They don't they don't do a lot of maintenance on it. Is it old wraps? This is like a, this is an old seashell, like an old clam shell, like the giant clams. That's like old coral. So the view is nice. It is a beautiful place. Um, is it worth an entrance fee? Probably not. And if you look close, there's a few things. Like I don't really like people destroy the uh, cactus by putting their names on it and people put their trash kind of all over the place. So that's a little disappointing, but it's to be expected, I guess. Okay, so that's it. We had a little lunch. Now we are heading out to the lagoon. I forget the name of the lagoon, but he said it's better for swimming, so that's where we're heading out to. Yeah, you're right. It's not that good for swimming. Yeah, but they're in the water, I'm sure. Yeah. But, you know, it month of uh, November, until May, mm -hmm. it is better. Really good, yeah. uh, when the waves are smaller, it's better. I couldn't have found this place on my own. So the entrance fee is 10. We're getting a San Miguel apple and a what? Some kind of juice. This is the, what's what's the name of the lagoon? The name, yeah. Baigad <laughs> Lagoon. You have to spell it for me before we go. Baigad Lagoon. That's fine. It's a lagoon. But uh, the only thing what I see this side. Okay. But it's not a lagoon. Oh, it's not a lagoon. But it's not a lagoon. It's a So, anywhere you can swim, huh? You can walk up there or here. Okay. So I'm just there on my tricycle, okay? Okay, no problem, man. Thank you. I'm gonna have to figure out the name. It's beautiful out there. Uh, let's go find a little spot over here. Oh, so they brought, yeah, they brought a boat over. See, I think that's the island. I can't tell, I gotta check the map. Oh. 
So this place is pretty amazing. Um, wasn't too sure what he meant by lagoon, but it's it's a shallower uh, area. There's a, you can see the boat out there. There's actually a river uh, mangrove area that runs behind it. We'll go look at that in a little while. This guy brought some people over on a boat. So this would be a nice little island hopping destination. You can get here either by boat or by scooter. Um, the scooter was like three or four hundred pesos. We paid a little bit extra because we wanted to go see the um, Paradise Beach also. And yeah, I'll find my choice. This is 10 peso entry fee, and it's amazing. There's you know, a little place that sells beer and drinks and food. And um, compared to Paradise Beach, I would highly recommend uh, the lagoon over that. But again, that's just me. So walking out a little ways, yeah, I would recommend Aqua Shoes. Um, of course, yesterday I took mine and I didn't really need them. Today I didn't bring it, and I'm kind of wishing I had. It's shallow, like all the way out. You can walk quite a ways out, um, but you can go all the way up and down this beach, supposedly. Uh, there are a few resort or houses, private beach areas, but you said you can walk near them, but this area is still open. Um, also, also down through there, around that river. Supposedly the river is over on this side, and I'm not sure if it's actually a river. Coming out of there, and this is the way the river, where the rest of the lagoon empties out into the ocean here. And that's where we were, or are. So that we believe is um, Virgin Island where we were the other day, and that's the one we drove by on the way back to the port over there. Yeah, it's pretty cool back there. Pretty cool, but a little, you gotta bushwhack a little bit. So. So. <laughs> you gonna go swimming? Or you wanna just take a look at the water? You can go, oh, there's a beach all the way down there too. It goes all the way down over that rock to the other side. <laughs> we saw a starfish. <laughs> So we also had some ATM drama again. The, uh, the ATM that's right next to the hotel, um, we've seen people take money out of there. And then I went in today and tried to take out some money. And my ATM would not work. So I tried all three cards. None of them are working. So we went and talked to the bank dude. And um, the, the local bank here, he said, yeah, that it's, he doesn't know what the problem is, but it's, it's, not, um, it's not everybody. So for some reason my bank is canceling, or not canceling, but not allowing the transaction to go through. I check my cards, all my cards are good. So like I, I never let myself get below a certain amount of cash, so we have enough for another week. But I'm getting into the reserve that I don't want to, so I'll be playing it, uh, playing it cheap Charlie for a while until we get the cash coming in. So I'll try it again tonight and see how it goes. But overall, we're very happy with the lagoon and glad we let the guy talk us into coming out here. Okay, so we spent a couple hours out in the lagoon. Our very high, highly recommended um, for an excursion out of Santa Fe. Pretty cheap. Just get a tight tricycle guy and they'll take you out. Yeah. Who, what resort is that? Is that a resort or is that a private house over there? Private. Private house? By a Swedish guy. Ah, okay. That's nice. Nice location out here. Yeah, there's a Kogon. We pay Kogon. It's a huge tree. Look at the size of that tree.
There you go. Thank you. Thank you. So it's good they collect the beer bottles, um, so there's less glass potential on the beach. Inside? You need it? Alright, and we're back. We gotta do some laundry. What happened? <laughs> so what happened? So she, we thought someone stole her sunglasses. She's walking around the beach looking for her sunglasses. And the boat captain, we thought maybe that guy took them because he was standing by her bags. Where are the sunglasses? Right there. They never left the room, so someone needs to, uh... <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.